I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm going to go ahead and start off with the things that I purchased at Beautylish during their gift card event and I want to say a big thank you for all the nice comments that you guys left on the collaboration video that I did with them that I posted last week. Actually, you guys always leave me super nice comments so thanks for all of the lovely comments that you leave on all of my videos. I really appreciate it. So I did purchase some stuff off of Beautylish and I'm going to start off with these little Anasui single eyeshadows. And I was just gonna get a couple shades and then I had realized that the butterfly pattern on the outside of the packaging was different on all five of them. So I bought all five of them. <laughs> they're super, super cute. This is what the box packaging looks like and there's 0 0.03 ounces in each one of these. And wait till you see how cute this packaging is. <laughs> there's little butterflies on the front of the packaging and then there's a little eyeshadow inside. So this one is 501 right here. And this has got kind of, I would call it like a satin shimmer finish. And it's just a really pretty brown shade right there. Oh, I got, I was swatching things earlier. So that one is 501 right there. And again, it's got like the little brown butterfly on the cover. This next shade is 400 and there's kind of a maroon butterfly on that one. And then this is kind of a shimmery purple, deep purple plum shade right there so that's 400 right there and this one is number 500 and it's kind of like a golden green olive shade it's very pretty and this one also is like a shimmer finish right there they're really soft shadows so that one right there is 500 this one has a purple butterfly on the cover and that's number 200 and it's a lighter shimmery purple. These were embossed with butterflies on them too but I've about ruined them by now. So that one is number 200 right there. And then the last one is number 900 and it's got like an emerald butterfly on the cover and the shade is an emerald kind of shimmer shade right there. Oh, they're just, the packaging is just so cute, right? So that one right there is number 900. And then I got to show you again, the cutest packaging ever. <laughs> I also purchased another one of the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. It comes in a one fluid ounce bottle. This is my third bottle of this and I use a full dropper after I tone and treat my skin in the nighttime. And I just feel like it adds just an extra extra overall kind of plumpness and calming sensation to my skin and I just really really like this product from Good Molecules. I really like their Hyaluronic Acid Serum too and I actually... <laughs> I actually should have ordered one of those too because I'm almost out of the one that I have, but this is just a really good product here. So I got another one of those, and then I went ahead and purchased two of the Charlotte Tilbury Holiday Palettes. The first one is the Luxury Palette of Pops, and this is the one called Celestial Eyes. This is the outside box packaging, and there are four shadows in this guy for a total of 0.18 ounces of product, which is 0 0.045 ounces per shade, which is a pretty decent amount of product. They actually, actually have a another one of these palette of pops in the pillow talk one which are all a bunch of shimmers in this same type of formula I'll be picking that up during the Sephora sale which starts on November 1st <laughs> um, I have got I've got all of Charlotte Tilbury's quads and it doesn't look like I'm stopping anytime soon <laughs> so <laughs> anyway this is the celestial did I say celestial eyes yeah celestial eyes palette and there are four shades in here and I kind of think of uh, kind of these shades right here is like well mostly these two I would say are kind of like topper shades These ones have a pretty decent amount of pigment in them But they're just very sparkly kind of sophisticated sparkle shadows and on the back of the palette It says one prime two enhance Three smoke four pop right there and I follow Charlotte Tilbury on Instagram and when I see her like putting her fingers in this palette and smudging it on some like drop-dead gorgeous gal I'm just like <sighs> I need that. <laughs> so here are the swatches right here. Just very, very shiny shades there. 
and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette of Pops in Celestial eyes right there and then lastly from the beautylish sale i purchased the charlotte tilbury instant look in a palette uh gorgeous glowing beauty the color scheme in this one looked like it would be something that i would use relatively frequently so i went ahead and got it i hadn't purchased one of these palettes in a while i believe if memory serves me correctly there's been a total with this one five of them that have come out i have got two and i'll show the ones that i have next to this one for comparisons but i was starting to feel like um they were starting to all look alike this one kind of has more of a mobby twist to it than the other ones and i'm also a huge sucker for charlotte tilbury's holiday packaging this year i just think it's so pretty like again it's just so pretty so there are three eyeshadows and two cheek products that are 0 0.07 ounces a piece which is a decent amount of product for those smaller pans and then a bronzer and a highlighter that are 0.21 ounces of product per pen, which again, for the size of this palette, that's a pretty nice amount of product that you're getting in here. When I used this, I used this bronze shade to smoke out the number three eye shade, and then I brought in a matte brow bone highlight. Um, but these two shades as blush were really great. This was light enough for my skin tone, and this was dark enough. I can kind of see... Um, with this color story, especially in the face products, that is definitely not going to cover all skin tones. So I kind of wish that they would have come out with two versions. Same with their Filmstar Bronze and Glow. You know, kind of a lighter version and then a darker version to help suit more skin tones. But let's go ahead and swatch the shadows. The, this one is more shimmery than this one. This one's kind of like a satin shimmer. And then this one's like a shimmer shimmer. And then you've got this cheek product, which has shimmer. And then another one that's kind of a satin, a highlighter. The bronze does have like a golden sparkle to it. And then there's one matte eye shade up here in the corner. So. But all the products worked out really nice for me. I did get some fallout with that matte shade right here when I used it. And then we'll do these two cheek products. When I use the cheek products, I kind of just mix them together. They are pretty light um, for blush tones. So those are the cheek products, our blush products, kind of the swish and pop kind of shades. And then here is the bronzer and the highlighter. The highlighter is really pretty and it's light enough for my skin tone, but it is again a little bit more subtle than how I've been wearing highlighter lately which is very in your face <laughs> so here's gorgeous glowing beauty next to natural beauty and then here it is next to seductive beauty for comparisons for you guys and then next up, let's talk about what I have on my lips. My friend here on YouTube, Mel Thompson, did a collaboration collection with Christian Audet. And she came out with two lip liners and two lipstick shades. These are my first products from Christian Audet. Um, she had sent this over in PR. In the package, she included this really pretty candle. It's like so pretty, I don't even want to burn it. And there's like a picture of a tattoo that she has, I believe, on her arm on there as well. So here's the outside box packaging for the lipsticks. There is a picture of Mel on there. And I just think she looks, she looks drop dead gorgeous just in this picture. I don't even want to throw away these boxes because she looks so pretty. I may, I do this every so often depending on how special the product is. I may put the lipstick back in the boxes just so that I can keep the box and the lipstick together. <laughs> and the lipsticks come in a pretty weighty uh, magnetic style packaging that closes like that. These ones are white and this is the shade Puffin which is the one that I have on my lips today. It's a really really pretty like true orange shade and I was really happy that it kind of it pulls more bright than deep on lips because I feel like it really brightens up my face. The lipstick feels really comfortable to wear on the lips and it kind of feels like a satin formula. Um, so far it's like I, pu I was pushing it today filming this video because it's like almost five o'clock. <laughs> I should have started earlier but I was busy doing something. Um, so I've had this lipstick on since I want to say 10 o'clock this morning and I've reapplied it once. I did eat with it. I don't have any bleeding or anything like that around my lips. I do have the uh, lip liner of hers on as well with it so I'm really pleased with the lipstick formulation of this so anyway this is the shade puffin and it's showing up very true in the viewfinder and also on my lips but I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys again it's got great pigmentation and it goes on evenly as you can see like with a swipe like that how the pigmentation it's pretty pretty opaque coverage that you're getting and so that is the shade puffin 
And then I'm going to swatch it next to the lip liner in the shade Smooches, which is the darker of the two lip liners that she came out with. And I think the combination of these two shades together is great. And I really like the formulation of the lip liner. It goes on really easy, but it doesn't slide all over the place. And it's lasting really, really well. So I'm very pleased with the liner as well. So there is the liner in Smooches right there. And then the other two shades are what Mel calls her perfect nude, which I kind of feel like it might be my perfect nude too. <laughs> um, so I really like these two products as well. Um, I really like the tones of both of these lip liners. This one is the lighter of the two and it's in the shade Kitten. So we'll swatch Kitten right here. And then the next lipstick is called Beauty and this is the nude shade that she came out with right here and the formulation of this lipstick is a little bit lighter it's glossier and it doesn't have quite as much intense pigmentation as the puffin shade does but it's just a really super easy to wear nude color and it's got a nice kind of glossy finish to it like something you can just totally throw on right there and that is the shade beauty and then I'm going to swatch Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk lip liner and also her iconic nude lip liner to show you guys the differences between um, Mel's lip liners and these ones. Iconic nude, I'll swatch it next to her Smooches lip liner right here, which is darker. And the Smooches lip liner, actually, the more you go over it, the deeper it kind of gets. But it has a little bit more brown to it. And when it's swatched next to Iconic nude, you can kind of see that Iconic nude almost has a little bit of pink in it compared to the Smooches shade. And then here's Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, which is deeper than the kitten shade and a little bit more pink right there. The tones of her lip liners are different enough for me to want to have all four of them in use, and I really like them. A big thank you and congratulations for Mel on her collaboration with Christian Odette. Um, this introduced me to the brand, and I'm really impressed. So I'm going to scope the website. I'm going to pick up, um, I know I'm going to pick up one of Lisa's lipsticks and her lip liners and kind of see what else they have on there, because it's some pretty nice lip products that they have. And when I was just wiping off those swatches, I did notice that I had to scrub a little bit harder on the Mel Thompson Christian Odette lip liners compared to the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Those ones came off a little bit easier. So the uh, Christian Odette lip liners are a little bit more long wearing than the Charlotte Tilbury. And then I finally got my hands on one of the new Tom Ford Soleil quads for winter. And this is the one in number three, Soleil d'Hiver. And I ordered the other two off of Bloomingdale's. And for some reason or another, it's showing that they're not going to ship till November 11th. I don't know if I can wait that long. So I may cancel that order and get them from somewhere else because I really enjoy this formula from Tom Ford. It's the baked de jelly type of formula and they just look so pretty on the eyes. Like they're all shimmery shadows, but once on and all together, there's just something about the look that comes out of it out of all of these type of quads that I have from Tom Ford that I think is just stunning. So this is one of the lighter, more neutral quads that came out with the collection. There's a total of three that came out and there are very very fine micro glitters in this shade right here the other three are pretty smooth shimmers other than this guy right here so this is 03 soleil d'hiver and it's got the white tom ford packaging Ooh. Let me drop those and those are the four shadows Three pretty light shimmers, and then you've got that deeper brown. But I, I really do adore this uh, formula again from Tom Ford. That body heat quad, it's so good. So pretty. Anyway, that is the Tom Ford Soleil d'Hiver 03 from the Winter Collection. I was trying to hold out for the Sephora sale before I purchased these, but then I was in store the other day and they had them in stock. And it was like, instant gratification, here we come. <laughs> so I purchased them in the store the other day. And these are the new nude uh, eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty. They're the little guys right here. And I have got a combination of the medium one and the dark one on my eyes today with, I brought in a little bit of some shadow from the neon orange to kind of put a little bit more orange in that crease to kind of go with my lip because these some of these they pulled a little bit more mauvey pink than I had anticipated them to but other than that oh, the shimmers in these palettes are so pretty and the mattes are pigmented and they blend really well I get along for the most part really well with all of Huda Beauty's eyeshadow palettes 
and I cannot wait to get the, I think it's called Mercury Retrograde, the larger palette that she's coming out with, I wanna say next week. I cannot wait to get that one, it looks so beautiful. Anyway, so I purchased all three of these and I, I've been getting along with them great. They're just very, very pretty shadow palettes. So this one is the light one. You've got four shimmers in this guy, which are these two, and then these two right here. The other five shadows are matte. And these shimmers on the lid, you guys, oh gosh, I just live for them. They're just so sparkly and shiny. Again, I've got a, a combination of the light, or the medium and the dark one on my lids today. And we'll do these next guys. Matte brow bone highlight for the win in this one. <laughs> Row here. And I think the packaging is just really pretty as well. So that one is the light palette right there. That's what that packaging looks like. And then here is the nude medium palette right here. And this one has got four shimmers and five mattes as well. These two are shimmers, and then these two right here are shimmers. And like the, my favorite, oh, I don't know why I skipped that center shade there. Um, my favorite way to, that I've been using these three palettes is together. I've been just combining shades from all three of them and really enjoying using them like that. So there are the first three. And these next three. And then these last three. Like it's warm, but there's there's a bit of a rosiness factor to it as well. It's kind of why I brought in that neon palette with the orange shade. So I was trying to match up with my lipstick here. So this one is the medium palette. So pretty. I noticed that I say so pretty about a hundred times in every video. My apologies. <laughs> so this is the nude medium palette. And then the last one is the Nude Rich palette right here. And this one definitely has some really pretty burgundies. This one has got four shimmers as well and five mattes. Those two are shimmers and then these two right there. I, I just, I, I really love the shimmer formula in these palettes. I think they're just beautiful. In the middle row. And then this last row here. So there is the Nude Rich palette right there. Look at that, oh, stunning. I'm gonna use a different adjective instead of so pretty, stunning. <laughs> so there is Nude Rich. And then next up, I got the prettiest PR package from Kaleidos Makeup, and they are coming out with highlighters. I believe they're available for pre-sale right now, but they sent over their six new highlighters, and they have like some really kind of fun, different type of packaging. That's one of the things that I really am enjoying about Kaleidos. I feel like they're really kind of unique in both their packaging and some of the products that they come out with. It's kind of, kind of innovative type of formulas. Their eyeshadow palettes are like in your face pigmented. Some of their shimmers are just so multi-dimensional. Um, so anyway, these are their highlighters and I have got on the shade Solar Sailor today, which is the GO3 in Solar Sailor. So this is the packaging right here. Each palette has 0.11 ounces of product inside. And these come in like a tin packaging with that kind of NARS-esque uh, rubberized feel to them. Just very different, cute packaging. So this is GO3 Space Age Solar Sailor. Yeah, Solar Sailor is what it's called. 
And again, this is the one that I have on the top of my cheeks today. And a lot of these kind of look white in the pan, but once you get them on the skin, they have a, a different shift of like a duochrome to them. So this one has got a, a stronger yellow uh, duochrome to it. It's just very, very in your face and very, very shiny. Right there. So pretty. So <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> so that is Solar Sailor right there. And then here's the packaging on that guy. And then this next one is N01 Space Age Comet Catcher. And this one right here has got a pink shift to it. The packaging kind of corresponds to the shift of the highlighter inside, which is something that I also enjoy. So I kind of know what the highlighter kind of tone is going to be for each one. This one here is kind of the most sheer out of the six that are available, but it has a really strong pink duochrome to it. So you can kind of see right there, it's a little bit more sheer. Kind of build it up here. It almost has like a, a see-through aspect to it. Like you can really see the skin through it. So that guy right there is Comet Catcher right there. The next one is Ray Rider N03. And this one's got a really pretty shine to it as well, but it's more of a natural kind of tone of highlighter. It's got a more nude shine to it. but still quite shiny, <laughs> but more nude toned. So that one is Ray Rider N03. This next one is Star Surfer N02 right here. This one's got a little bit more of a chunky feel, but once buffed in the skin, it just, it provides a really pretty shine to the skin. This is definitely one I'm gonna get a ton of use out of right there. So that one is Star Surfer right there. And then we've got G01 in Skywalker. This one also has a little bit more of a chunky feel to it, but again, buffed into the skin, it has a really, really high shine to it. And this one has a bit of a cool blue type of a duochrome to it. Right here, kind of buff it in so you can see. But it's, it's, it's really pretty right there. So that one right there is Skywalker. I kind of feel like with all of them, you can. there's something about them that's kind of translucent that you can kind of see your skin through them. And then this last one is called Laser Glazer 02. And this one here I will be using as an eyeshadow. It's very, very pretty as an eyeshadow, and you'll see why. So it's got like a green, brown, golden shift to it, which for my skin tone, it's not exactly a highlighter for me. I mean, I could use it as a highlighter, but I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow. And it is very reflective, very like dual chromey. And I love shades like this for eyeshadow. So there is the shade Laser Glazer right there. So those are all of the new highlighters that Kaleidos Makeup is coming out with right there. And a big thank you to Kaleidos Makeup for sending those over. I'm ever excited for the new things that you guys are coming out with. Some very fun type of new innovative products. I did buy another Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick during the Beautylish sale because this is this is the this is mine. <laughs> this is the one that I'm using in my makeup room. I do have one that's about halfway done that I carry around with me in my purse as well. But um, I wear this lipstick a ton, and I need another one. So I got another one of the Kim K W lipsticks right here. It's just a really awesome, easy to wear nude, and I love to wear it with uh, Charlotte Tilbury's iconic nude uh, lip liner, which I really can't wait to pair this lipstick with. Um, the Christian Odette and Mel Thompson lip liners. Now I think it's gonna be a fun combination. And then they had a display for the Kim KW stuff and I have all of her eyeshadow palettes and I really, really enjoy her eyeshadow formula but I never tried any of the lip products. Um, the lip liner, very color pop feels big time and these are $12. So I think a guy could definitely get away with just purchasing a color pop lip liner. Uh, I heard good things about her lip liners and kind of the shades of them so I went with Nude One right here in the lip liner. And it's a pretty neutral um, nude shade of lip liner. 
So that's Nude One from KKW Beauty. And then I was swatching the lipsticks and there were some really pretty shades, but I hadn't heard the greatest things about the lipstick, <laughs> but the shades looked really pretty. And I was like, I'm gonna give them a try. I originally had like three of them in my hand and then I put the other two back and I just got one. I'm like, just go with one and see if you'll like it. And let me tell you what, I do not like it. Um, I put this on and I mean, the color's pretty and stuff like that, but it's a bit uneven looking on the lips. But the thing that just killed me was it tastes and it smells like I've had this lipstick for 20 years and I'm like, I couldn't wait. I, I put it on and I could not, I couldn't wipe it fa off my lips fast enough. Cause I was like, this is, it tastes and smells rancid, which is really, really unfortunate because the lipstick shades are super pretty. So anyway, this is the shade one nude right here. And again, the shade is very pretty. It's the lightest one in the nudes that she has. And I liked it cause it had more of a warmer, almost like oranginess to it, which I don't have a ton of nudes kind of that color, but I can't, I can't with, especially the taste. I thought that I could deal with the smell, but it was the taste that was just an absolute no-go. Again, it feels like I've had this lipstick for 20 years. So this is going back. I'll keep the lip liner, but I'm not keeping this lipstick. <laughs> also in store, they had the new Lily Lashes Faux Mink in Miami Flair, and I had seen them online, and I hadn't placed an order yet online, and then they had them in the store, so I was kind of surprised that they didn't, they didn't look anything like they looked online, but I thought, let me give them a go anyway, and they're okay. I really, really like the Lily Lashes Faux Mink collection. I think that they're really nice eyelashes, but this particular style I'm not as crazy about. I am crazy about the croissant style, however. That is, those are so beautiful. Anyway, here's Miami Flare, and I cut off two chunks off the end of these already, but they're just a little bit, the stagger on them is just a little bit too choppy looking for kind of what I like, but I thought I'd show them to you guys anyway. So that is the new Miami Flare shade right there. Shade, style, <laughs> style of lashes from Lily Lashes uh, Foaming Collection. I also purchased their last pair of croissant eyelashes as well. So that's this style. I love these lashes. I love these lashes. I wish I had like a thousand pairs of these lashes. <laughs> They're really expensive, however. But this was the last one that they, that they had. And these ones are untrimmed. And then I'm gonna show you guys the pair that I've been wearing that are trimmed. And they're just, oh, they're so flary and wispy and just beautiful, beautiful eyelashes. And I believe these are an Ulta exclusive and they're called, again, Croissant right there. They're so pretty. Another thing that I purchased at Ulta and I'm not happy about, which I don't know what the deal is. Um, a lot of people just absolutely love this product and I wanna love it too. So I've tried it, this is the third time over, I don't know how many years that I've given this product a shot and I just can't get down with it. <laughs> and it's the It Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. And again, I've tried this multiple times over the years and I just can't, I can't make it work for me. I just feel like it sits on top of my skin and it looks so, so makeup-like. And then one of the reasons that I purchased it was because I thought that it would add some extra hydration into my skin getting into the colder months. So I had used it the other day. I had actually mixed a little bit of this with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation and it just was not cute. Same thing. It just sits on top of my skin and, and like my whole face looked really greasy, but my skin felt really dry and that's like the most annoying feeling. So I'm super sad about it. I'm like, why can't, you know, so many people love it. I'm like, why can't it work for me? <laughs> so anyway, I love the SPF 50 in here as well, but I just can't with the way that it makes my skin look. So that's going back to the store. And it had, I got it in this little duo here that had this to kind of travel size with it as well. And then lastly, I thought I would share with you guys my latest Paula's Choice uh, order. I purchased another one of the Paula's Choice Lip and Body Treatment Balm. They've since switched the packaging. This used to have a blue top. I have gone through so many jars of this lip balm, I just can't even tell you. And I use it for the most part. Every once in a while, I'll use like a Laneige or a different lip uh, mask or something that I have. But for the most part, this is my go-to nighttime lip balm. I've been using it for years and I don't anticipate stopping anytime soon. <laughs> and then I also got two more of the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliants. This is a salicylic acid kind of toning product 
right here. I have gone through several, 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 several bottles of this. Prior to this, I was using the Acne version of their BHA exfoliant, and then I got the Paula's Choice Clear daily like daily skin clearing treatment two and a half benzoyl peroxide right here this comes in a five percent as well but like um i talk about in my videos about having acne prone skin and somebody had said that your skin never looks like it has any acne like what are you talking about type of deal this is why <laughs> this is why i use this morning and night i tone with this guy and then i put a like a pea size amount of this guy and i rub it all over my face and it's kind of um the decision between whether or not I want to have acne or kind of fight fight acne or fight dry skin <laughs> and I'd rather fight dry skin because benzoyl peroxide, benzoyl peroxide is quite drying um, but I'll I'd rather slather on more moisturizer than have to deal with blemishes but this this combination of items right here and then at nighttime what I do is mix in this pea size amount of this stuff with a pea size amount of different gel that you can get at Walmart now which is awesome and that's what I use at night and that is pretty much the reason why I have clear skin because I do have very blemish prone skin and I'm very adamant about using this morning and night. <laughs> so those are all repurchase items from Paula's Choice. Other than that, that's everything that I have for my haul today. This four sales coming up next week. There's some big things happening next week. <laughs> so I'm super excited about it. Somebody's definitely going to have to shut my internet off again. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.